हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गुड इन दिस वीकॉन्सी प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ के डिविजिबल कंपोनेंट्स इट्स मार्क्ड एज हार्ड बट आई विल से इट्स एक्चुअली मीडियम नाउ अगेन वी विल सी अंडरस्टैंड इट इन अ मीडियम मैनर देर इज अनडायरेक्टेड अ ट्री नाउ इफ यू डोंट नो अ ट्री इज नथिंग बट एनी थिंग एज यू कैन सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव नोट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फोर एजेस इज एक्चुअली अ ट्री now undirected tree which means there is no directions of n nodes and label is also from 0 to n minus 1 now i am also given an integer n which directs the tree uh, nodes and the edges of length n minus 1 because i told you a tree for n nodes will have n minus 1 edges and obviously i have to represent edges so i have represented as a this specific vector of vector cool now This indicates there is an edge between AI to BI. Now I am also given a zero index in this array called as values. Now this value, what this values array mean is for these n nodes, zero, one, two, three, four. For these four node, like five nodes, in, uh, valued indexed from zero to four, the values are here. Ultimately, this is what is given. Now they are referring a valid split. The valid split of a tree is obtained by removing any set of edges. Possibly empty from the tree such that the resulting component of like re resulting components all have values that are divisible by k. So what you have to do is your task ultimately is you have to remove some set of edges from these four edges. You have to remove some edges. After removing that edges, whatever component is formed, its sum of values should be divisible by k. now they are also asking you find the maximum number of components which you can achieve now you might ask the first question is is it even possible to have any split yes it will be possible because they are referring that sum of values is always divisible by k which means if i take this if i don't do any split at all this will be obviously and for sure divisible by k so there is a possibility that if i do a split which means if i remove a specific edge i might get some number of components which are actually also divisible by k and ultimately my maksad is to get as many components as possible now very brute force naive way will be i know i have n minus 1 number of edges let's name it as m edges so i might try to at i'll go to every edge and i will ask him shall i remove you shall i not so i have two options which is true which power m and when i have removed some set of edges i will again go and do which means i will again go to the entire component which means all the n nodes do a simple dfs or a bfs traversal and will find out that each component is actually good when i say good is having a valid split or not which means it should be divisible by k its value sum should be divisible by k if that's the case i will simply get the answer so this will make will be my complexity now considering constraints as you can see n is pretty large so that will not work so what else can we do let's see so ultimately again um i have shown you these are corresponding values just ask just tell me one thing now i have a option that uh, obviously for a specific component i need to have some set of nodes which are connected with each other so let's forget right now about the edges let's only remember or let's only consider the nodes which a component would have so as you can see here the component have these nodes forget about the edges and there the component have these nodes so now i am asking you to think in terms of that rather than thinking of that you also had these edges think only that you have these nodes and now you have to make a component whose sum of values is, is divisible by k and other component So some of values is divisible by k, which means that you have to now go and choose a node rather than an edge. Earlier I was choosing an edge, but now I have asked you to reframe it as choosing a node. Now if I choose a node, now my question is okay, which node you are planning to choose? Tell me. Ah, uh, you might say Arin. Ah, uh, let's choose this. But if you choose this node, what will you say? Okay, if this is if this node exactly is divisible by k, here the k is six. then you might say okay and it's valla valla uh, it's going to be awesome so if i reframe this entire tree by just putting its values i'm not putting the indexes i'm just putting the direct values you see that right so now my question is that if you are going to choose a specific node then what are you planning to do look if if i choose this node then okay uh, obviously this node is not divisible by k so this cannot come to one component 
which means that if this node individually cannot come to one component so ideally this nodes like this nodes impact should go to either this node or this node or maybe this node but then which node to choose that his impact will go to did you understand the meaning of impact impact here means that when i choose this node choose this specific node again here is the value i have written here if i choose this node obviously this is not divisible by k which means that this node can individually not come as a component which means he will come this node this node will come along with someone else now is this someone else this person is this someone else this person is this someone else this person so you have a dilemma okay can you choose any other node in which the dilemma will be solved obviously yes i can choose any of these end nodes why because if i choose any of these end nodes let's say even if let's say if i take four now four is not divisible by k but the only other person he can come along with is his neighbor and his neighbor is only one person because he was the leaf node so his neighbor is only one which means i will simply remove this and i will say okay along with one whoever is along with one he will come like he will come along with one okay then i will again go to another leaf node i will get one did i see something yes okay one cannot come alone because he's not divisible by, 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 by k so he will also come with his neighbor and he only have one neighbor because he was the leaf node so okay now again i have two leaf nodes again do the same thing that okay you take four or maybe you you can take one let's take four let's say so if i take four again he cannot come alone because he is not visible by k so he will come with his neighbor okay he will come with his neighbor okay then no, now like this is leaf node and this is also leaf node take any one okay this is leaf node so its value is right now six it is divisible by k yes it is divisible by k which means he can come alone he can come alone okay so i will increase my component size by plus one then again another leaf node okay obviously uh his sum is 12 which is also divisible by k he can also come alone so increase by one so did you see that how we changed it to a firstly we tried out that okay how i can choose a node and then i ultimately figure out okay yes i can choose it but then for that i have to go in from the very extreme now let's do a final dry run along with what algorithms can we use here so ultimately as you can see uh, i have replaced all the indexes and uh, you know i have built the corresponding values here but in the code but i am again telling in the code i will use indexes only cool now uh, simply what will happen here um, as you can see i will try off by simply putting all these leaf leaf nodes did you see any such algorithm which if you can remember any any such algorithm which starts off which starts off from the node whose in degree or i should say the degree is actually one then it go to the other node then it go to the other node like did you remember any such algorithm yes i guess you must have remembered again it is not important to know that but it is simply nothing but a topological sort but 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 you know the concept the concept simply here is just get the leaf nodes again into what data structure obviously you can choose a simple queue so i'll choose a simple queue and in that i have one two five and one okay i i will get out the one can one come alone uh one is not divisible by three so he cannot let's put k as three here so one cannot come alone which means he will come along with his neighbor obviously he was one of the leaf nodes which means his in degree was one i will go on to his neighbor whoever his neighbor is obviously his neighbor will will be nothing but this guy only so i will go on to his neighbor and i will simply tell him bro um i cannot come alone so do one thing take my value so he will remove himself take his value which means this will become plus one now when you removed a specific edge how will you infer in the code that is edge is removed obviously by saying a degree or i should say a in degree or you can say degree also because here it is under it so both are same so here the earlier if you remember the degree for this was a three but now it has become a two so one thing you identified that a leaf node is any node whose in degree or i should say a degree is actually one okay coming on back we know that right now this is the status now we go to next leaf node can he come alone no obviously not he cannot 
which means he cannot form one component when i say alone he cannot form one component okay so he will come with his neighbor he will go to his neighbor and say okay bro i will come along with you next time okay so he will come along with him but as he is removing which means as he is going away from my queue so this edge is also going away which means his degree is reduced his his neighbor's degree is reduced okay now uh, as his neighbor degree has become one so his neighbor which means as it has become one so he is a new candidate for the leaf node but his value has now become six plus three nine okay i'll put a nine now uh five five is the next person i will simply five cannot come alone because five is not divisible by three so obviously he will also come along with his neighbor same way one can also not come alone so one will also come al along with his neighbor when i remove these two edges these two edges obviously his end degree also became a one so he also became valid person to come along in my queue okay then uh obviously nine yes nine can now come alone which means nine can come alone so my component count of component will increase by one okay great but as he count of my count of component is increased by one which means he can come alone so i will not transfer the values to my neighbor that's it but also at the same time i have to make sure that when this is removed okay this is removed which means i have to still make sure this is removed which means my in degree of my neighbor should still be reduced so earlier it was one two now it will become yeah it was one two now it will become one okay now again um, i'll simply proceed forward but as it has become one he is also now the new new possible person who can come inside my queue right okay now i again take six yes it is divisible by three okay obviously yes so he will be removed he will form one component i'll increase my answer by plus one he will be removed the neighbor degree will be reduced to zero but as it has already one and i know i will only push inside my queue when the in degree is one so this is only pushed once so this is not pushed again then i have three i'll go to three okay three is also divisible by three okay yes increase by one answer is three so as you can see the answer will be three cool i hope you guys got it again it's a simple how we went ahead now it's a, again if you don't know it's a simple topology of sort what happens so let's see the code we will simply have vector of vector uh, graph we will simply build the adjacency list we will have in degree uh, i'll say you can name it as degree also because here in degree and degree both are same then i have this node values why is this required is because i'm converting the internal integer values to my long long why because if you remember what happened here is when you had a specific value if it is not divisible by k you are shifting or adding your current value to your parent which means in your parent again in worst case in your parent you can have something like this a star phenomena right you can have something like this so what will happen is that this is leaf node this will bring the value to his parent this is also bring the value this will also bring the value 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 so a node can actually ultimately in worst case add up all of its neighbor's value and neighbor can be in worst case n minus one and the value itself if you look at it r1 e9 neighbors also can be 1 e4 so in worst case i could actually end up adding 2 into 1 e4 into 1 9 which is not, nothing but 1 e13 which will be out of boundary of long integer but will be in the boundary of long and also in long long but long long is obviously safe so we can also take long long here long will also work so that is the reason i converted my node my values to my node values by having a long long cool then i went ahead with my simply iteration of my all the edges i will simply for u i will push a v for v i'll push a u i will make sure to increase the degree of both u and v by one then i went ahead and iterated on my like pushed elements in my queue how i'll push it any node which has a degree of one that is nothing but my leaf node so i'll push that in my queue until my queue is empty i'll simply get out the current element i will decrease its current in degree because obviously um that is no more used again uh, i can do one thing also here that i can decrease here also again both will similarly work then i went ahead and found out do i have to add because obviously i have removed if i just take the same example uh let's take the same example exactly same example again quickly very quickly so in this case here i i got ahead the current value now i'm just i'm computing add value add value indicates that do i have to add a value to my neighbor or not yes or no so if it is a yes 
then I will return what value to add. If it is a no, and why it will be a no? No will be if the current value is itself divisible by k. If it is divisible by k, then don't add anything, which means don't add, add zero. So with that, I will know if I have to add value to my neighbor or not. If I don't have to add a value, which means the add value was a zero, which means that he's individually can come as one component. So I will increase my component count by one. And even if whatsoever is the case, go on to his neighbor, go on to his neighbor and making sure that the neighbor degree is more than zero. I mean, why is this useful? Because if you would have been at six, if you would have been at six, considering your adjacency list will have neighbors as three, two, one, but one and two are already done. If you remembered when we did the try run, ultimately this six value would have been plus one plus two, which is nine. But when again, considering if this would not have been a component or divisible by K, then you would have shifted this value to your neighbor. But six neighbors are three, two, one. How will you discard one and two? I will discard one and two by saying because their in degree has been reduced. Their in degree has been reduced. Their in degree, or I, I, should, I, I should say that their degree has reduced to zero. That is the reason these will not be counted as now remaining neighbors. The remaining neighbors will be a neighbor whose degree is still non zero. That is the reason how I'm counting the current neighbors because this graph will still give me all the neighbors. Now you might ask, I didn't, with this strategy, is the complexity going ahead? No, because at every edge, I am visiting at max twice while going from one to six and also while trying to go from six to one. That's it. So uh, here, this is a check. And ultimately I will reduce the degree of my neighbor. I'll also make sure that I am adding it, the specific value. And also making sure that if he becomes, if my neighbor becomes one, he is the new possible candidate of the leaf node. Simply push it. Ultimately, simply return the corresponding count of component because simply it's a traversal. I will simply trade on all the edges and all the nodes. I, in worst case, my nodes are n and edges are n minus one. And again, in worst case, I will iterate on them twice. So time is O of n itself space because I'm using many things here. I'm using a adjacency list. I'm using a n degree. Uh, I'm using values. Space will also be O of n. Cool. That is the time and space complexity. I hope you guys got it. Again, if yes, then please smash the like button. It helps a lot, a lot, a lot. Bye-bye.